losing her wallet, unfortunately. So the beginning of the trip was quite abrupt and dealing with that, but we were able to make it to lunch at St. Leonard's. That's a very, very cool place. I recommend that. It's off the beaten path and I think everybody knows about the big names, but that is one to look into, St. Leonard's. So after lunch, then we needed a manicure pedicure before London Fashion Week began. So we found an adorable spot called Nails and Brows. And Meghan Markle actually went there before becoming a princess. So <laughs> we decided we must go there as well. Then it was off to Pollen Street Social for dinner, which is a Michelin star restaurant. So Pollen Street Social, it's a veggie friendly restaurant. It's not totally vegetarian and it was absolutely delicious. The atmosphere was fabulous and we sat down and the last three days of New York Fashion Week were super intense. When we do go to bed at 11 and get up at six, that's very challenging and especially going all day. It's not even a leisurely day that after that many hours of sleep. So unfortunately, I was getting a migraine at dinner, so we only got to have two courses, which was really sad, but. Little, little tiny, pretty cool. Beautiful, but small courses. Yeah. So then came home and I had to get straight in bed and then we didn't set an alarm and we woke up at 7.30 the next day. That was kind of crazy. What'd you find? A juice booster? Intense and hot. Intense and hot. Ooh, that sounds scary. Yeah, we're not gonna get that. Bibi doesn't like intense and hot. No, it doesn't. Don't get. Do you have any hours you've been away now? Not that many. We slept very late today. Bibi, this is not the yogurt place. This is so weird. Egg exquisite. It's some kind of egg cheese. That's odd. Okay. The first show we went to when we got to London the next morning was 
Jamie Way Wine Show, and it was at the Somerset House, which is this beautiful series of buildings, and all these James Bond movies have been filmed there, and the Sherlock Holmes movies with Robert Downey Jr. Um, have had scenes there too, so that was really cool and fun, and it was an interesting show. Yeah, I really liked it, and we got these really fun goodie bags. That's true. And so it was the perfect setting to kick off London Fashion Week. I think in the past, a lot of shows have been there, but now it seems that a lot, most all of them are at 180 The Strand. Which is just around the corner, basically. Or all over the city. So mm -hmm. it's just so beautiful, quintessential England. Mm -hmm. Perfect way to start the day. Okay, so Jamie Wei Wang, she went to Central St. Martin's, and the label was founded in 2013, and she worked at Alexander McQueen and Christopher Kane while she was studying, and she also helped design the costumes for the London 2012 Olympics and Paralympics. <music> go to her presentation and the brand was founded in 2014. She is from Surrey and she studied actually under Dries Van Noten. Wow, that is one great start. Yes, that is. He is phenomenal a and fabulous, so meticulous. Exactly, yeah. a fabulous place to start and we cannot wait to visit his boutique in Paris. And so she actually uses the computer. She designs her pieces are extremely floral, feminine, just exquisite. And she designs the prints on the computer. So it takes a lot of computer programming. Each stitch is designed on the computer. So that is why it's more like the evening wear category and a bit of higher price points. But it is worth it. And everyone from Sean Combs to Pippa Middleton. I can't figure out how P. Diddy wore that. Have worn her pieces. So. They are beautiful though. You should check her out. Alice Archer. Yes, and the presentation was so serene and beautiful and exquisite and she's pregnant. So that's probably... All the flowers is the backdrop oh, yes. and the beautiful store. Is the store called Bluebird? The shop at Bluebird in yeah, London. You need to check that out too when you're in London. The shop at Bluebird. They have everything, including a cafe, right? A bunch of different floors, it's a great spot.
Oh, I was waiting on you.